So we are in the middle of the summer, which means we are also in the thick of travel season. And even though I have some personal and financial goals that preclude me from doing much traveling this year, I still thought it would be a good idea to come on here and share with you guys an amazing Amazon dupe for one of my favorite carry-ons. So if you're interested in seeing what that is, just keep watching. Hey, I'm Dre and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. Over here, we're all about looking and feeling our best for less. So if you're into that, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. But before we get into today's video, I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk a little bit about my new ebook. Just in case you weren't aware, I put out an ebook called Five Tips for Purchasing Pre-Loved Luxury Online. Guys, this ebook is a really quick, easy read. It's only about 20, 30 pages. And it really just is me talking about five of my top tips for helping you shop with more confidence, save money, and avoid getting scammed. So if those are things that you think would be helpful, go ahead and download the book. It is free. It will be available in my bio. It is also linked in the pinned comment under this video and in the description box. So anyway, let's get into today's video. So guys, I wanted to come on here and share with you guys my dupe for the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM. And it is my new Daisy Rose tote from Amazon. Now guys, this bag right here, I don't know what is given on camera, but it definitely looks and feels better in person. So let's go over the dimensions on this bag so that we can start the comparison. Let me pull out my iPad. So the Daisy Rose Pope. Um, the Daisy Rose Toad, of course, is made of polyurethane or vegan leather, which you guys know I'm not a fan of. But for the purpose of travel, I thought this would be perfect. So it is 12.8 inches long, 11 and a half inches high, and 6.8 inches in diameter with an 8.6 inch handle drop. It also comes with a pouch just like the Neverfull pouch, but it's much smaller. Now the dimensions on the pouch are eight inches long and five inches high. So let's get into this bag so that you can see what it looks like on the inside. So guys, it's very similar to the Neverfull on the inside, except it has a few more compartments. So it's a big open hole, just like the Neverfull. It also has a little hook here with the D-ring where you can partially close it just like the Neverfull. You have this back pocket here. Well, the main pocket on the back wall, just like the Neverfull. As you can see, it has the Daisy Rose branding here. The difference though is that this pocket is attached and built into the lining of the bag. The Neverfull pocket is not attached to the lining. This bag also has silver hardware where the Neverfull bag has gold hardware. You see it also has the two little things on the side that you can use to cinch the bag in. And we'll talk more about that in a couple of minutes. So real quick, just to get on the inside of the Neverfull. And let me uncinch it. So the Neverfull, it has the back wall with the slip pocket. You have the little claw with the D-ring that you can attach or you can um, partially close. You also have the separate D-ring here that you can attach the removable pouch to. I don't think I showed you guys that in the Daisy Rose, but the Daisy Rose tote has that as well. But this... The pocket in the Louis Vuitton is different because as you can see, you can move it. It's not attached to the bag. So the Louis Vuitton Neverfull is actually smaller than the Daisy Rose. So let's put them up together so you can see. I may have to sit back a little bit to get these both in frame. 
But if you can look at them side by side, it's obvious that the daisy rose is a little larger. Turn them this way. And you can see the measurements on the Neverfull will confirm that. So Louis Vuitton says that the Neverfull is 12.2 inches long, 11 inches high, and 5.5 inches deep. Whereas, again, the Daisy Rose is 12.8, 11.5, and 6.8. Um, the Louis Vuitton does not give information on the handle drop, but they look and feel about the same to me. The weight on the Daisy Rose is more substantial. So that polyurethane is thicker and heavier than the coated canvas on the Louis Vuitton. Even though the Louis Vuitton does have genuine leather trim, it's still lighter in weight than the Daisy Rose. But the Daisy Rose is still lightweight. It's not heavy, you know, it's just obviously heavier than um, the Louis Vuitton. So now that we know that this is a little larger, let's look at these pouches and compare them. So there's a huge difference, much more significant in the size of these pouches. So this pouch is tiny in comparison to the pouch that comes with the Neverfull. This pouch is also plain on the inside. It doesn't have any pockets or additional branding. Whereas the pouch in the Neverfull does have the Louis Vuitton branding. It has an additional pocket. It has... Uh, a tag with a date code and it also has a tag that says made in america and it has branding on the zipper pool whereas the daisy rose pouch does not so we've talked about the similarities and the few differences with these bags but the main difference is the price. So Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM right now retails for $2,030. The Daisy Rose tote retails for $49.98. And it also comes in quite a few varieties. So I just chose this because it's similar. It's checkered. So it kind of looks like Louis Vuitton without trying to be Louis Vuitton, which is why I grabbed it. Plus, I've been needing a black tote. So I thought this would be the perfect time to not just get a black tote for myself, but really see if this Daisy Rose tote is worth using as a dupe for the Louis Vuitton. So, you know, I haven't carried this. I don't know how well it's going to hold up, but just based on the way that it looks and feels and for the price, I would actually say that this is probably a better travel alternative than the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. For $49.98, you're not going to have to worry about, you don't care about this getting damaged. You know, um, if it gets lost, who cares? You can replace it. Whereas replacing a Neverfull is probably going to, you know, that's going to be an issue. So, yeah, I think for the money, and I can't really see, I've, I've really looked this bag over. I haven't seen any loose or pop stitches or anything. Um So I think this is really a great alternative to the Neverfull, especially if you just want something to throw, you know, to travel with and don't want to worry about losing something expensive as a Louis Vuitton bag. I think this would be a great reason um, to get this bag because you can get the look for less. But one more thing that I wanted to show you guys before we ended this video was this organizer. So I have another organizer coming to me sometime soon. A brand reached out and wanted to send me an organizer. And I knew that I was on the market for a black tote. So I went on ahead and told them to send it to me. It just hasn't come yet. But I have this organizer that I purchased off Etsy a few years ago. And the thing that I liked about it when I initially purchased it was that it had a zipper. 
So I use this for my never full. So people who like the never full but don't like the fact that it doesn't zip close, I thought this would be a really good alternative. Um, and I don't even remember who I bought this from on Etsy or if the seller is still active. But the inside of this organizer is just like one huge compartment with a bunch of little slots or slits on the perimeter for you to stick stuff. And then there's a pocket on the front. But as you can see, I this is personalized. I have my name put on it. So I wanted to show you guys what it looks like in the Neverfull and then put it inside of the Daisy Rose Toe so that you can get a better idea of the inside of these bags and how much of a difference there is in size. There's really not much difference. So here is that inside of my Neverfull. And this is what it looks like. And here she is inside of the Daisy Rose tote. See, she doesn't come up as high. She doesn't come up as far in the Daisy Rose tote. The Daisy Rose is a little deeper than the Never Fool. Oh, there was another thing that I forgot to mention. These straps. The strap drop is about the same, but the straps on the Daisy Rose are wider and thinner than the straps on the Never Fool. If we get up close, you'll see what I mean. But both are comfortable. I got this charm off Amazon. I thought it was cute and it just added a little pop of color to this bag. I'll link it below in case any of you guys are interested. And I also purchased these two makeup pouches. They actually came as a set. And I think it was like maybe $12.99 or $13.99. But they also came in a, a large variety of different like colors and prints. This is just what I chose. And they also came in two sizes. So this is a small, but they also came in a large size. I will also link these below just in case you guys need some makeup pouches. I, I just thought these were really cute. But that is all that I have for you today, guys. I hope uh, that you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down below about the Daisy Rose tote and whether or not you think it's a good alternative for the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM. Thank you again for watching. And don't forget, if you're going to buy it anyway, you may as well save a few coins. Talk to you later. Peace.